Hey guys, Spears here. Today we are going to look at the best settings and filters to use in Streamlabs OBS to achieve good microphone quality and reduce any background noise. So you want to know how to remove the background noise, the annoying keyboard taps and the clicking of your mouse. Okay, I know this is frustrating and I had this problem for a long time until I finally figured out how to remove it when I was streaming. So I've done a lot of research into these settings and I know they now work and I've tested these on multiple streams over the past couple of days and I'm going to be using these settings for the rest of 2020. I may make an updated video after this if I decide to drastically change but for now I'm just going to be changing and tweaking the values until something sounds better. Before anyone notices, okay, I know I've just got a headset and I'm using a normal microphone but these settings will work on streaming microphones and standalone ones. Okay, I do have one, but I just prefer to use this and have less wires on my desk as I've not got that much room. So let's get straight into the video. I'm going to show you the filters. Use this as a guide, as kind of a gauge to figure out what settings you will need. The exact settings may not work, but good luck. Have fun and don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. Going over into Streamlabs, open this up, go down to the cog in the bottom left, go to the audio tab, okay? Then go to make sure you have your microphone selected. When you have selected your microphone, okay, it's normally in the first drop down. You want to check that the bar in the bottom right, this bit here, is moving up and down. This means your voice is being picked up by Streamlabs, okay? That's step number one, okay? Now, you can see the bar is going into the yellow area. This is what I would say is your optimal range. This is kind of where you want the volume to be. If it's hanging around the middle of the yellow, that's good. If it's going into the red, like this, if I do this now, okay, mine's not picking it up, but it will go into the red. That means it's too loud, okay? If it's not going into the yellow, it could be slightly louder. So anyway, I'll show you how to get the filters on. So go into the, go to the little cog icon next to the microphone. So I'm not going to go into too much detail about these. I just want to explain briefly what each one does. Okay. And you need to tweak around with the settings to find out what works for you because we're all going to have different microphones, different headsets. We're going to have different background noises. It, it's completely variable. So just use this as a guide on how to set and pick the correct filters. So first of all, we have gain. Okay, now you can adjust this. So if you increase it to say five or six, you can see the bar is going up. Okay, so my microphone's probably got louder now. So I'm gonna reduce this down to 1.5 because this for me, again, using that bar as a gauge seems to be the correct level. And most of the time, most of my words are kind of around the halfway mark on that middle bar. Next, we go over into noise suppression. Now this filter is great because it is reducing all the noise behind you. Okay, and I believe it's reducing it by minus 10 decibels. Okay, so it won't actually pick anything up. This is a filter that's going to help you avoid any of the keyboard taps. Okay, so I was pressing my keyboard then. You couldn't hear me. Okay, I'll now click my mouse to see if you can hear it. Okay, you notice the bar does not move. There's no, the bar doesn't hover right at the very bottom. Okay, it's completely silent. This is a beauty of uh, noise suppression. Next is noise gate. Similar to noise suppression, but what this does is it works with two thresholds. It has an open threshold and a closed threshold. Now what the open threshold does here, as you can see, is it allows anything above 26 decibels to enter so, so the sound to pass through so people can hear it and anything above 35 it will cancel out okay that's amazing i don't really mess about with the attack hold and release time okay i've left them purely as default again mess around with these settings find out what works for you so the last one is compressor this one i'm still a little bit unsure about but i've heard good things I've heard what this does if I explain it um, in a nutshell is it if your voice is too too loud and boomy it will soften it if your voice is maybe too high it will maybe kind of make it a little bit lower to just make it easier to kind of you know to, to hit the sweet spot 
on, on your voice. This is why I think this is really good, and I'm trying to tweak around with this. So, what I've been messing around with it here is the attack speed, so that's how quickly it's going to pick up my voice and how quickly it's going to compress it. So I believe this is in like 0, 0.0 milliseconds or whatever. And 60 is how quick it's going to have a cut off sound. So if I start banging in the background, it's going to cut that off after so long, so long, providing it's not in a certain threshold. Again, you can see we've got the threshold setting here. So these are the main four filters that I've been using and I'm going to continue to use through 2020. I'm going to experiment with them. Okay, I may make an update on this video if I found better settings, but for now, these seem good and these seem to work for me. I would definitely at least recommend the first three. The compressor filter, I'm still messing with. I'm not 100% certain, but go ahead, try and and let me know in the in the comments so that's it for today guys thanks for watching the video i hope this was helpful and i hope you finally get some decent microphone settings on your streamlabs obs be sure to like comment and subscribe okay if you have any questions please do leave me a question in the comments below and i will be sure to get back to you thanks for watching